This application is a PSA over laminate on a roll of printed vinyl media. So the first thing I'm going to do is load my over laminate on my supply shaft. The next thing I'm going to do is load the roll of printed media on the front side. We'll line everything up and then get it threaded through the machine. Now we're ready to load the printed vinyl media on the front of the machine. So this is my bo bottom unwind shaft for the media. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to slide this on the shaft like this. Then I'm going to take my core adapters, I'm going to back them off all the way so that there's no brake tension on them. I will slide it onto the shaft, line that up, come over to this side, I'm going to do the same thing. Make sure that there's no tension on these, line that up, slide it in, and I'm going to center that to the machine. And I go, go ahead and I'm going to tighten these core adapters down. This is a five millimeter wrench that's supplied with the unit. We'll make sure that these are good and tight. I'm going to come over to this side. I'm going to push that all the way in. Make sure that's nice and snug against it. Tighten these down. Then what I'll do is I'll bring my top roll of over laminate down and I'll line it up to the edges of the media, make sure that I'm nice and straight. So I'll bring this down. Look at this, okay. Make sure that we're nice and straight there. more. All right. Now I'm pretty well lined up. So I'm going to rewind a little bit of this film. I'm going to drop it back. I'm going to go back behind this idler bar because this is where we're going to separate the film from the release liner. So what I'll do at this point is I'm going to bring this up behind this bar. I have a piece of tape and I'm going to do what's called a bow tie. So I'm going to take the tape and I'm going to twist it 180 degrees so that I actually have adhesive on this side and this side, then I'm going to attach it to that cardboard tube. And I'm going to bring this up, and I'm going to attach the film line that up to the tube. A little more. Do a little bit of a wrap on there. Then I'm going to take my knife and I'm going to very carefully, I'm going to score the film against this idler bar. I don't want to cut my release liner because then I'll have to start all over again. So I'm just very carefully cutting that film. this and I'm going to 
bring this over the top of the roller and let it rest just like that. Now I'll take my vinyl, my printed vinyl, I'm going to bring this up and I'm going to attach it right to that film. Just like that. Give myself a little bit of slack. Take this and I'm going to push this underneath that, that roller. I have my, my roller fully gapped and I want to make sure that it's nice and tight, nice and flat against that roller, top and bottom. I'm going to hold it right there. Bring my top roller down till it touches. When it touches, I'm going to note the position of the handle on my hand wheel. And right now it's at 3 o'clock, so I'm going to go to 4 o'clock. That's all the pressure we need. If you go any more than that, you're going to bow the rollers in the center, and then you're going to get a lot of bubbling, you're going to get a lot of wrinkles, and it's just going to ruin your job. I will grab the print hold down bar, put this in place. Then I'm going to start the web through with my foot pedal. And as I do this, I'm going to watch what's going on here. I'm going to watch what's going on up on top. If I have to add any break, I'll take these two knobs, one on both sides, and I'm just going to start adding a little bit of brake tension. I'm going to use the least amount of brake tension I can get away with. You want to make sure that these brake pads, the white brake pads that you see, are against the cardboard tube, not against the media. If it goes against the media, it's not going to work properly. It has to go against the cardboard tube. In the meantime, up here, when I get this going, I want to make sure that my liner floats out here a little bit. I don't want it to be tight up against that idler bar because if you do that, now you're stretching your film and you're stressing it and what will happen is if this gets mounted to a rigid substrate, if it goes into the sunlight or if it goes outside in, in southern states where it's really hot, really dry, what will happen is that vinyl will try to go back to its home position and when it does, it might take two weeks, three weeks, it might take a couple of months, but you'll come over and you'll see all kinds of tunnels running through your, your finished product because that, that vinyl tried to get back to its home shape. So I'm going to put this on foot, turn my speed down, make sure I'm on forward, and I'm going to start that through. Once we're going through, give it a little bit of speed, I'm going to hit run, release the foot pedal, turn my speed up, I'm going to back off on that clutch a little bit and you can see how it's starting to bag up in here on, on the liner, which is good. That means I'm not stressing that film. You're going to see it float down here a little bit and then it'll just gradually settle into a position. And what that does is, number, it does a couple of things. You're not stressing the film. Also, the less amount of area that you have exposed to the adhesive, the less dust and dirt and stuff you're going to pick up in the air that would ruin your prints. If you see that you have some, some puckering and wrinkling down here, it, it's okay to have a little bit, but if you see a lot, we're going to add some break. So what I would do is I tap it just like you do when you tune a drum head. If it sounds the same all the way across, you're pretty good. If you hear a thud on one side and a really high pitch on the other side, add some break to it. I'm going to add, I have a little bit right here, I'm just going to add a touch of break, that's all both sides. Looks good. I'm going to keep an eye on that because I changed the dynamics when I added the speed. I'll bring that up. So as the machine is running, 
I'll look at it. If I happen to see any dirt or dust or anything, I can just take a, a lint-free cloth and wipe it just to make sure that I'm not getting any dirt and dust in there because you can't hide that with a pressure-sensitive adhesive.